welcome back. This is the second video in the FireGuard series. In this video we'll be looking at FireGuards in action and while there's a lot going on in the background and a lot of things that the crews are doing you may have questions about and, and want to email. What I really want you to, to pay attention to is how we're actually using the FireGuard as a tool to get done what we need to get done. In this particular clip we're setting a head fire on this day we have a really strong wind coming from behind the camera at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. The stripper is out front, the igniter. The really hot portion for the crew is just this area right behind the stripper. This wide fire guard allows the crew to stand back, let that fire burn away, let the heat go away, and then allows them to come up behind it. So that really wide fire guard allows that crew to operate in a much safer environment, much cooler environment, and still allows the fire to be controlled. In these next series of clips, we're going to see fire guards doing what they do best, and that is allowing for this safe beginning of a fire that is the ignition, where you really have nothing but fuel all the way around you, and you need to create black. So one thing I want you to pay attention to during the, these next series, series of clips is look at how small the strip is at the beginning of the fire. So we've just put this first fire line down, watch as he comes back and puts in a strip, and it's only a few inches, and then it's a few inches again. And as we get through and start getting more and more black, it'll actually start getting whiter. see at various times through these videos embers coming up and passing by the camera. Some of that's being kicked up by the hose as I go through uh, what's recently been burned, but we're really kicking up a lot of embers and we're not that far away from the fuel. If the fire guard was skinnier, this would be really problematic because if that fire guard gets wider, the safer you are with those embers. I think you can stay right there. We're just stopping at this corner. That'll keep you out of that mud. So we have the initial fire line laid down for this plot. We're going to stop here and let this back in a little bit more just because we're kicking up so many embers. In this next clip, watch the ground as backfires creep into tall grass that often knocks the grass over but leaves it burning. And so as you come back along, you can see one right there. As you come back along, one of these uh, fires when it's just started, there's a whole batch down here at the end. You're going to have to be extra careful about putting that out. So there it is. It's in the black and stretched across our wet line into the fire guard. So in this clip, again, we are starting out on another plot. This is, I think, 20 acres in size. And again, I want to show how slow the beginning can be and how many times you're going to be coming back through and making strips to get enough black to be safe. This particular igniter, it's his first day using the torch, so you see a little bit more instruction feet, with him feet. than probably you might normally see with the crew. But you might find that helpful as well. And the, remember, the goal is to take small strips at the beginning and widen this black out. The one thing out. you need to do when you step away, when you blow that out, just make a quick check and make sure you didn't set anything on fire below you. Okay. Otherwise, life will suck. go in about six inches and just get right, I mean really a true six inches and just light along that edge and kind of work your way back towards the Yeah. We're going to take this as small as we can. Okay, go into 
another about six inches deep and go all the way across. Go ahead and come back. And then go up along this outside edge up to about there. Just go right up to that outside edge. That's good. So if you get any of those out, just get my attention. It's amazing how fast those will spread. Okay. Okay, go back in and now do about six inches to a foot, somewhere in there. Yep, yeah, just go ahead and light right off this side and go across. There you go, perfect. Come on back! So take a look, when you come up here, take a look back at your flame. General thumb is we don't want more than half the flame crossing the black. We want half as much black, so that's a pretty big flame, even though it doesn't feel like you're making that much. It's yeah, no, you're doing great. I'm just telling you, just for your information. Give me another line down here about 10 feet. You go a little bit closer to the fuel. That's good. Now go back in one foot and all the way down across. Got it. Thanks. back up to me, come out here, kind of right just inside the heavy fuel, give me another few inches. That's probably good right there. That's good, perfect. Hold up a second, let, let that heat die down. Alright, so now go back in, go in about a foot again and cut across. Pretty big flame for only a one foot strip. Okay, give me another, go up to the, the green right here behind you. About 10 feet. What's that? That's right there, 10 feet, that's good. You can go back in. You're going to be getting hot here for a while and let's see what Gene's going to go. When you come out, like right now where we are today, you can go a little bit more to the fuel. Instead of burning out where you were, you could be about in about another six inches in that heavy fuel. So go on back in, go about a foot and a half, and when you get kind of out into there somewhere, kind of like right into there, then cut out about two feet. Okay. Go ahead and go. Yep. Go ahead! 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 Go ah
Oh! Oh! Too wide! What happened to two feet? That's like about ten. What's that? Oh no, you, I want you to start up here narrow and kind of get out to about two feet. <laughs> no, you're good. It, it died down. You're in really low fuel right there. So give me a, another, uh, start in about six feet and go up to about ten, kind of just past where you're standing. About six inches? I think I said six feet. I'm going about six inches. <laughs> that would make it interesting. All right, so now what you're going to do, you're going to cut back in. You're going to go only about a six inches in here. When you get to the, where it kind of wedges out, going about a foot, and then you're going to go in about two feet and just kind of follow that line across. Okay. What do I do about a uh, little dog over here? Just walk right through the middle of it. Don't go around it, because if it does catch, that's a oh, lot okay. of fuel. <laughs> so yeah, just, you have to just barrel through it. So go ahead and go. Do you want me to wedge, like, kind of funny feet in, maybe? No. So you're going to start here about six inches in from where you just started. When you get into about there, yeah. you're going to cut in about two feet, and then just kind of get a little bit wider, kind of head towards that willow or dogwood, whatever's in there. There certainly is a lot going on in these different clips, but I hope this video gives you a feel for how we use fire guards as tools to allow us to conduct safe and effective burns.